Today's Good Health segment is brought to you by Sullivan County Community Hospital. Today on Good Day Live, I'm very happy to welcome to studio someone who's going to help us all feel better about getting together this holiday season and hopefully be healthy. Kim Compton, you are the infection control nurse mm -hmm. at Sullivan County Community Hospital. I think I need to know what what exactly do you do <laughs> as a title like that? Um, a lot of things, but mainly I just make sure that everybody is staying safe and protecting themselves and our patients and things like that. It's a very broad, <laughs> broad role. It's a broad role, but it's mm -hmm. an important one. And today we thought it was important for you to be here because now we're getting ready for this big holiday weekend. We're getting ready for all these families and friends to gather and sadly there's a lot going on. What has the trend been with viruses around our state and around our area? Um, we have been seeing a lot of COVID, flu and RSV. COVID is elevated. We're starting to see more flu that's becoming um, increasing as well and a lot of RSV. And um, it's not really anything that's surprising. We typically see this throughout the year. You know, it's flu season, mm -hmm. respiratory illness season. So it's not surprising. Um, the CDC has actually classified our area as moderate as far as respiratory illnesses, oh, wow. but that's compared to the southern states and western states that are more of like a high or very high designation. So um, I hope we're in the peak of it, but we may still see more to come. So is it too late for people to get the vaccines then? For example, I will be honest with you, I didn't get my flu vaccine this year. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I didn't, I just didn't. But is it too late? It's hard to find the time to do it, but it is important. Um, and it's not too late. We are seeing a peak right now and um, it takes a little while for your immune system to build up, but it's still a great way to protect yourself throughout the rest of the respiratory season. We still have several months to go, so okay. there is still time. Let's talk about the categories of people, because I know when we, we talk about flu and, and we talk about COVID and of course RSV, we're looking at specific people. Mm -hmm. Can we start with adults and especially those adults with compromised immune systems? Mm -hmm. Um, so vaccines are recommended for pretty much everybody with the exception of RSV. That's a little bit different because it's so new and it affects certain people differently. Mm -hmm. So um, for older, for adults, it's really good to get a flu vaccine and your updated COVID vaccine, um, especially if you have a compromised immune system and talk to your doctor about those things. See if it's right for you sure. and something that you need to be getting. Um, as far as then babies and the RSV, mm -hmm. this is something relatively new, right? It is. Tell me about that. Um, we just got the RSV vaccine this year. It's a brand new thing. Um, and RSV typically will affect babies and older adults more than, you know, older children or mm -hmm. younger adults. And um, it can give them very severe illness um, to, to the point where they're hospitalized or even um, end up passing away. Oh. Um, so RSV vaccines are a great way to protect those populations. So it can be given to babies under eight months and um, during pregnancy as well to protect oh. those babies and then also to adults over 60. So that might be a question you should be asking your doctor about mm -hmm. as well if you fall into those categories. Absolutely. And for parents out there, it's scary. When you hear RSV, it's a frightening thing to think about for your baby. Mm -hmm. So serious conversations you should be having. And the final thing I would say is now that we're headed toward this weekend, what are pieces of advice you have for all of us to stay healthy? Because we're all going to be in enclosed spaces, <laughs> right? Yes. Again, this is not new for anybody. Um, it's just kind of a nice reminder around the season to make sure that you stay home when you're sick. That's probably the most important thing. Um, you know, if you're if you're around babies or older adults, make sure you're washing your hands, um, things like that, cleaning surfaces well and disinfecting. But um, the main thing is making sure that you stay home when you're sick. And even if you go to your doctor and you get tested and you are treated for it, um, it even if the test comes back negative, you still have something. So it's good to make sure that you know, you're protecting your loved ones as much as you possibly can, especially during this season. Might be the best gift you give of all is just to stay <laughs> home, right? I mean, you know, you hate to do that. That, but if you're not feeling well, think about it. And mm -hmm. think about this. Sullivan County Community Hospital has a wonderful website where you can go and you have doctors, you have a quick care clinic, mm -hmm. you have the availability to get those checkups and get those physicians to take care of you. So please visit their website anytime if you have questions, if you need information, if you're looking for that healthy advice. Boy, we sure appreciate you taking the time to come today. Well, thank you because very much. we are headed for a busy weekend and a busy holiday. So Merry mm -hmm. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for what you do. It takes special people to be in health care. And I will say this, you have a big heart and it shows. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We've got more to come on Good Day Live.